hey loves and welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here and in today's video we are going to learn how to make this cone detailed sleeve it is a normal sleeve but it has a cone detail and we are going to learn how to cut and sew this this sleeve is very simple to make and i will explain it as much as i can we have two fabrics here i have ankara and i have doll face the ankara will be for the men's sleeve then the ankara will also be used for the cone and the doll face will be used as the lining use doll face as your lining i also have my thickest gum or thickest interface you can use a peplum gum also so first of all you cut out a normal sleeve i'm not using any particular measurement for this sleeve it is just a basic long sleeve after cutting that out we are going to cut out our cones i will keep our sleeve aside then i will cut out our cones in, in order to achieve our cones what we are going to do is that we will fold our ankara fabric just fold it the normal way this is the sleeve let me turn the front i will also use the ankara fabric as the lining for this sleeve please add a lining if you are using an ankara sleeve just add a lining it will help your sleeve to come out very well after that i will fold my fabric like i said if you want to achieve the cone you will fold your fabric the normal way you will not have to cut out a flay just fold your fabric the normal way then we are going to cut out a half flay you can see how i'm folding my fabric just the normal way just fold it the normal way then we are going to cut out a half flay so you can determine the length you want your flay to be you can make it six or seven inches i marked seven inches inside the seven inches i have my seam allowance and everything there so if you are using seven it is okay use between six inches and seven inches the two is okay anything above that and anything below that will not really give you what you want so i marked seven inches round you can see this is a half circle one side of the circle will be open and one side of the circle will be closed i will cut out this circle and i will use it to cut out extra five pieces i'll be using six pieces for each sleeve i'll be using six cones for each sleeve then i'll go ahead and cut out six cones on this ankara then after cutting out on the ankara remember that the sleeve that we are making has a combination the inner part is a different color the outer part is ankara so after cutting out this ankara i will use my white doll face for the combination for the inner parts so after cutting out on the ankara i will fold my uh, my doll face and i'll also cut out another six pieces on my doll face i'm using a white doll face for this if you're using an ankara just choose the color that you want the color that you feel will suit your ankara and then use it as your lining i'll go ahead and cut out a lining for each of these half circles that i cut out so i am done cutting out and this is my thickest gum if you cannot get this thickest gum you can use a collar stay collar stay collar gum is very very strong i'll go ahead and add this thickest gum on all the ankara pieces if you have been following me for a while you will notice that i don't normally add interface to my door face it will not give you that smooth look it will not give you a smooth look so if you are making this cone add your interface to your ankara only add it to your ankara do not add it to your door face that's why i said you should use your thickest gum or your collar gum so that if you add it to the ankara it will be firm enough to for the ankara and the door face do not add any interface to your door face and for this sleeve you know that the door face area will be very very prominent people will be seeing the door face area more than the ankara area so do not add your interface on the 
dull face so that it will look very smooth i am done placing all of them and i will iron after ironing i will trim out all of them one by one So after trimming, what we will do next is that we will place our doll face on all of them. Our doll face is our lining, right? We will go ahead and place our doll face on all of them. I have six pieces here. I also have six pieces of doll face. I will go ahead and place my doll face on all of them. Then after placing the doll face on all of them, I will go ahead and join only the round area. You know, this half circle has the round area and the straight area. We will leave the straight area open for now. We will go ahead and join only the round area. Then after joining, I'll come back and iron it. Just join the round area. You can see the area that I just touched. That's where we are going to join. After joining it, this is what I have. If you want, you can notch before turning or you can turn it like that. So after joining all of them, I went ahead to notch. And after notching, I turned them. You can see how I'm turning this one right now. After turning, please, iron very, very well. Ironing is very, very important when it comes to peplum or circles. I'll go ahead and iron properly. That's how I'm going to iron all of them. I have six pieces here. I will iron the six of them very well. I am done ironing. The next thing that I'm going to do is to fold this cone. You can see the one I'm folding right now. Just fold that straight area. Then you go ahead and run a stitch. So you use half an inch and join that open area. That's why I said you should leave that place open. I am done joining all of them. I, have, I am done closing all the straight areas. And I will reduce their seam allowance. Make sure that your seam allowance is as small as possible. I'll go ahead and reduce all their seam allowance. And after reducing this seam allowance, I will go ahead and iron on that area where I joined from. You know we are trying to achieve a cone shape and we want it to be round. We don't want any area to be flat. After trimming this allowance off i'll go ahead and iron on that area where i joined from you can see how i'm ironing this one and after ironing it it will give you this funnel shape you can see the pyramid or the funnel shape make sure that you iron very well so that you can achieve this pyramid or this funnel shape i'll go ahead and iron all of them After ironing, I will introduce my basic sleeve. This is my basic sleeve. I have turned it with its lining. Then I will start placing these cones or at the middle, at the middle of this sleeve, you can just make the tip to be flat. Then you will run a stitch on it. First of all, you pin all of them down, pin so that you know what it looks like before running a stitch on any of them and if you are placing this remember that area where you closed your cone from that area where you closed your cone from should be facing the fabric so that nobody will see the rough sewing around there you can see the place where i closed all these cones from are facing the fabric they are on the fabric so if you are pinning the next one you pin it on top of the initial one you can see where i pinned the second one i will go ahead and pin the third one on top of the second one 
and that is how I'm going to pin all of them. So if you are making your six pieces is enough, you can use seven, but six is just moderate and fine. That's how I'm going to pin all of them. And after pinning, I'll go ahead and run a stitch on them and I will also shape. If you want to make this easier, mark your round sleeve measurements first of all indicate your round sleeve measurements first of all before pinning this cone so that when you are shaping you will not have any difficulty in taking your measurements so here is the final look of our sleeve i hope it is fine please do not forget to follow me on instagram at so with ijoma so that you can be getting our short short tutorials there uh, we also we also have online classes corset blazer ibo blouse trouser and jumpsuit you can click on the link in the comment section to join our telegram group i hope this video is helpful give it a thumbs up so that more people can get to see the video thank you guys so much for watching my video i appreciate and see you all in my next video bye